News that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side late night starts now. We begin tonight with the heavy rains and storms that moved through West Michigan this afternoon. There were also some early this evening in parts of West Michigan as well. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is here with a recap. Do you remember last night at this time we were watching the storms up in Minnesota? Yes. Here's where they went. They came a little bit earlier than anticipated today, but nonetheless, they did move through Minnesota, Wisconsin. There were a number of severe thunderstorm watches, and this is right around just before 10 o'clock in the morning. We thought they would come on shore around 11 to noon, so just that one hour difference to an hour and a half of not seeing any sunshine here in West Michigan. That prevented these storms from becoming severe, but they still did put down a lot of rainfall. As you can see, there were a number of Warnings that didn't verify here in West Michigan and the watches were canceled this evening. Now all of the rain continues on over toward Detroit. Uh, current radar loop, you can see those storms moving off to the east and that'll be the last of those. But a lot of rain fell across Muskegon County, southern New Waco, on up to south of Big Rapids. Another batch around southern Kent County. Uh, most rain was down along I-94 where almost four inches of rain fell in Schoolcraft. Almost four in Muskegon and in Hamilton Township as well. Many areas seeing an inch and a half to almost three inches of rain. These were many. Uh, these were mostly rain producers here in West Michigan, but there was also severe weather down to our south with wind damage that was all down along the Michigan Indiana border. A number of wind damage reports, even a funnel cloud near Stockbridge. And with all of that wind down there, 28,000 folks are without power. Those outages are climbing the most in Jackson County with nearly 60. 700. We're going to talk about quieter weather, but also another clean air action day and your full weekend forecast is on the way from the weather deck in a few minutes. Tonight, Muskegon County is drying out. It received some of the heaviest rain this afternoon, causing some major street flooding. 13 on your sides, Micah Cho joins us and Micah, the water may be gone tonight, but there's a lot of video showing just how bad it was. That's right, Juliet. While the roads were pretty much dry in Muskegon County tonight, the city manager of Muskegon said he and his staff monitored the wet roads all afternoon as their storm drainage systems worked to catch up. We did have some uh, water over the road along Shoreline Drive, uh, closer to downtown near Muskegon Lake. Muskegon City Manager Jonathan Seifer spent Thursday being updated as water flooded city streets. This video shows cars battling their way through Shoreline Drive. When when you have rapid rain events like this, uh, this our storm infrastructure is hand, is designed to handle you know a certain amount of water at a certain rate. Muskegon wasn't the only city in the area impacted by rain. This neighborhood near Maplewood in Muskegon Heights saw heavy water throughout the afternoon, but as of 5:30 Wednesday night, the street was mostly clear. Other areas impacted by heavy rain: Sherman Avenue, Hackley, and Lakedon. During the initial rain event, uh, we did have a, a portion of Seaway Drive which is business 31 um, through uh, Muskegon uh, runs through a number of communities. And he says the heavy rains and flooded roads give the city an opportunity to see what areas may need to be looked at moving forward. As we're seeing weather events change, um, we're, we're having to kind of change how we think about infrastructure going forward um, to make sure that we're able to, to accommodate for, the, for these type of rain events. In Roosevelt Park, Broadway Avenue was also underwater for a while this afternoon. There are no reports of major damage caused by the flooding in Muskegon County. Juliet. Micah, thank you. 